Okay, Tiffany, wear shoes. Wear shoes. Wear shoes. Wear shoes. Wear shoes. Hey. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to send Tiffany to the child care first and later on move around the neighborhood and see if there are any interesting things to sketch. the market that I'm talking about it's well shaded and there are some railings that I can lean on so I don't actually have to set my chair down I also can't set my chair down because if I do so I won't be able to see the vegetables on the tables on the makeshift tables these are the vegetables sold at the stores so the seller actually came over to t take a look at my sketch and when you're sketching it's very easy to strike up conversations with people it's definitely less intimidating than taking photographs I think these are gingers um, I actually don't know many the names of many of these are produced so these are all the different Produced. Let me show you the tools that I have brought out with me today the portable chair, the portable painter, micro palette, portable collapsible watercolor brush, Pelican M200 fountain pen, the water mister or spritzer, and this watercolor sketchbook. So this is my completed pen and ink sketch before the watercolor is applied and it's going to rain very soon so I would probably have to paint this at home. Now the most important thing, um, I mean the most important point in this sketch is actually the vanishing point which is somewhere around here. So all the diagonal lines they will point to the vanishing point. And this vanishing point happens to be the horizon line as well. So uh, the people in the sketch, their head should coincide with this horizon line. So people who are shorter would be lower compared to the horizon line. All right, the weather is definitely not good, so I have to rush home. It's going to rain like any second. It was a good move to leave immediately because now it's raining heavily. All right, time to paint. So the idea earlier was actually to basically use this micro portable painter and clip it to my sketchbook so that I can stand and paint at the same time. So the way to clip it is just uh, basically put the lid here at the corner and clip it down like this. And this uh, bottle here, I can use it to spray my paper or I can just pour some of the water out into this tray here to wash my brush. But since now I'm at home, I can have the palette on my table. This yellow that I'm using, this is PY184 made by blocks i have no idea what's the actual name of this yellow i just happen to have this pen that i haven't used for a long time so i want to finish uh, using up this color this is actually quite a challenging sketch to color because there are a lot of details and most of the scene is actually under the shade so the light source is coming from the right side 
and because um, this whole area is under the shade there are no distinct shadows no cast shadows the shadows are very soft so that's why this is a bit challenging to color the blue that I'm using it's cobalt blue deep from Schminker PB74 it's a very granulating color and the other blue that I'm using it's a phthalo blue for the red it's a warm red so to get the shadows I use cobalt blue deep and a dark brown for the greens it's just um, the lemon yellow which I just found out that's the name of the color of the blocks PY184 that's lemon yellow which is a bit opaque so it's not that great for mixing uh, but if you use enough water it can appear transparent cobalt blue deep PB74 is one of the most granulating colors I know of here it's used to mix with a uh, brown a dark brown to get this um, sort of a gray wash but if you actually use the blue to mix with magenta you can get a very beautiful granulating uh, purple or violet unfortunately cobalt blue deep is also one of the more expensive colors so it's significantly more expensive compared to french ultramarine and phthalo blue so that's the green that I mix with PY184, which is not a very transparent color. I'm not sure what red I used here, but this looks like a transparent pyro orange. It's a very beautiful um, red that you can use to mix um, with raw sienna or some lighter yellow color, ochre maybe, for beautiful skin tones. So the shadows here, um, those were mixed with phthalo blue and the dark brown. And all these boxes here, um, they were mixed with this color. I'm not sure what it is, um, yellow ochre or raw sienna, I'm not, not too sure. So there are a lot of um, vegetables on the makeshift tables. These are all the produce that um, from below the earth. I think ginger, um, potatoes, all those, um, yeah. And I created some speckles here by running the brush against the clip. This is also PY184. So you can see it's kind of opaque. I was almost able to cover the black lines um, beneath. And this is cobalt blue deep on its own. This is mixed with a little bit of phthalo blue. It's like the more extreme version of ultramarine. And when you mix it with uh, burnt sienna or a dark or light brown, you get a grey wash that's like this with very obvious granulation. This green here, uh, this is with phthalo blue and uh, lemon yellow. This was a fun and challenging sketch. I haven't been sketching outdoors for a very long time, so it's good to be back outside um, to draw. If you guys want to challenge yourself, you can download the reference photo of this scene that I have taken. The download link is in the video description below. And oh, I will be putting out a video review for the micro portable painter very soon. So watch out for that video. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.